In this video, we want to do a quick review of the rectangular coordinate system because now we're going to be getting into graphs. I just want to make sure that we remember all of the stuff that we had with graphing. So remember the rectangular coordinate system is just a way for us to plot points, right, and in two dimensions. And whenever you do this, the rectangular coordinate system is built on having two intersecting number lines. Now, this is not nearly as accurate as some of the other stuff that we're going to be doing, just so you get an idea about what we're talking about, right? So here's our rectangular coordinate system. You have two intersecting number lines, and each of them is called an axis. So the one that runs horizontally is the x-axis, and the one that runs vertically is the y-axis. Now, when it comes to graphing, I'm going to give you guys grids that are going to look like this. It won't have the axes labeled. It's not going to say X and Y, but it will have the numbers there, and you're going to have the, the grid, so it's very easy to plot your points. Okay, But just for making sure we understand how everything works, we have this. Where these guys intersect, where it's zero for each of these, is called the origin. Simple enough, right? And these two axes will split up our rectangular coordinate system, our our, our plane into four sections called quadrants. And the way that we label these is by using Roman numerals. So we would say this is quadrant one over here in the upper right. And in this counterclockwise fashion is how we label the rest of them. So here's quadrant two, and then quadrant three, and in the bottom right is quadrant four. And when we plot points, we have to remember that points are given as ordered pairs, okay? So a quick little note about that, and this is very important when you do your homework. So points, points are ordered pairs. That means they look like this, something like x, comma, y. And this is the way the order is, okay? The order is the first coordinate is x, and the second coordinate is y. And each of these pieces, these are called coordinates. And together they form our ordered pair. So if you were to plot something like the ordered pair 3, 2, we need to understand that the ordered pair 3, 2 is not the same as the ordered pair 2, 3. Order is very, very important to us. If we were to just try to sketch this out, and I really don't like doing this without my grid. The ordered pair 3, 2 would be where x is 3 and where the y value is 2. So this would be the ordered pair 3, 2. As opposed to the, or, as opposed to the ordered pair 2, 3, which would be when x is 2 and y is three. So you see these are in two different locations, two different spots. So the order is very important. So one of the things you need to understand whenever you're doing your homework or doing anything for me, when you are talking about a point, you must give it as an ordered pair. And this is very important when we start talking about x and y intercepts. So if you're just on the x-axis or just on the y-axis, you can't say that the x-intercept is five. You have to give the ordered pair so that you have your x and your y together to form that particular ordered pair so we know exactly where you're talking about. So don't get lazy here. All right? So this is the basic idea of this, and we're going to look at how does this work with some equations and what the shapes look like. So there's a lot of stuff coming up, so stick around.